Hi everyone, welcome back to Birch Podcast. In this session, we are going to discuss about the profit and loss statement of Natco Pharma. So, looking at the profit and loss statement, I have few questions in that. Uh, and one thing I found out, more of the revenue is from USA, so they have more of the foreign income. And rest of the world is also more than India. So, how does uh, revenue in dollars help the pharma company? You see it in the earnings report. Mm-hmm. If you saw Natco, by the time this video comes out, Natco's earning report would be out. And you've seen their margins have gone up by 15%. Mm. So go check where Indian rupee was one year ago mm. and where Indian rupee is today. Okay. Right? See how much the difference in the rupee is. Mm. That much has increased their profit already. Mm. Forget the increase in sales, increase in orders. There's just the same orders. The like, same orders they fulfilled. Profit has gone up. Like in gold, they did not increase the volume of sales. Just by the increase of gold price, the Correct. profit will increase. Correct. Okay. So their profitability EPS has gone up. It's gone up by 15%. Mm. And uh, the market has rewarded it. Mm. So if you saw Natco price has been going up. But the funny thing is though the price has been going up, Natco is still in consideration range. It's not mm. become a diamond needle. And people like to imagine that I bought Natco at 800, I bought it at 900, now it is trading at 1500. That means it's become diamond. It's almost become mm. double. Mm. So it's become diamond status. No. It's not diamond status. Mm. That's because you guys constantly fixate on price. Mm. Rather than P. Yes. Mm. P is where the value lies. As a value investor, you have to look into the P. And if you look into the P, there you will understand that it's still in value range. Okay. Let's say earnings has collapsed. Mm. Instead of going up 15%, Natco's earnings is down by 20%. Mm. Then the P E would have shot up to 23, 24. Okay. So what you would have seen is reverse in Natco. Mm. You would have seen a huge correction in Natco. Mm. At that time, you should not think immediately think it is value buy. Mm. It is correcting again. Mm. I'll go inside and buy mm. because its price has become so cheap. Mm. From 1,400 rupees, sir, it's become 900 rupees mm. again. I will go buy. Mm. No. That's why you have to keep looking at the price to earnings. Mm. That is why I keep saying. And looking at the profit and loss statement, uh, the income categories of two types, First, uh, it is mentioned as income and, uh, the, and in other, another column it is mentioned as comprehensive income. So, what is income and comprehensive income? Okay, that's the income total. That's the mm. revenue from operations, mm. revenue from other income, right? Mm. So, then it asks you to go read into notes. Okay, that gives you the breakup. Mm. Then you have something known as other comprehensive in- income. Mm. So, these are other incomes which is come. Mm. So, he's also defined it here. Remeasurement of defined benefit, liability or asset tax reassessment. Mm. So, these are all tax related auditing things which he's got. And he's given notes on these two. Mm. Okay. And if it's in a bracket, that means it's a minus number. Okay. Okay. Mm. If it's not in a bracket, it means it's a positive number. Mm. So, keep that also in mind. Then fair value exchange and equity investment through OIC and tax implication. These numbers are all very small. So, Mm. I would really not bother looking into these. Mm. Compared to if you see these, these are running into billions mm. of rupees. These are in like millions of rupees. So these are very small incidental things. But if you really want to, you can. Exchange mm. difference in translating financial statements on foreign operations. That means you place an order, right? Mm. He gives a quotation. It is so many dollars. Yeah. Then by the time the product is made and its shipment is reached, then the payment comes to him. The differentiation is there. Rupee moves. Okay. So all those and taxes move. Everything changes. Mm. So all that he has to adjust. So he's adjusting all that in accounts. Mm. And the last question is, uh, there will be a constant news that uh, USAFDA will be inspecting a lot of the pharma companies and uh, they'll give some regulations to be followed. So why is USAFDA doing that? Because they're making sure the products have a certain quality and specification which they're legally bound to follow up Mm. with. Right. So they're in charge of making sure that all food and drugs which are sold in the United States have a certain quality and standard being maintained, mm-hmm. that they are legally safe. Mm-hmm. There is nothing wrong with it. So, drugs which are manufactured outside US, which are coming into US, mm-hmm. they will of course send a team here to inspect and make sure the facility meets the standards and protocols they have set. So, they are coming to check, which mm-hmm. is all fair. And There's nothing wrong in it. And whenever USFDA conducts the inspection, the share price will fall and the That's investors normal because will panic. No, it's not domestic investors who are panicking or retail investors who are panicking. The mm. people who are panicking are foreign investors, mm. FIS. Because in the US, if health inspector comes to your restaurant or FDA comes to your okay. factory, it is a big thing. Mm. It's a big problem. Mm. That means something is wrong. Mm. That's why he's come. Yeah. Because most big factories in the US 
have an FDA person working there, living there. Mm. So they're already there, someone there mm. who's sending, who's auditing and sending. Aside from this, if FDA is coming and issuing a letter, that means there's something wrong. Okay. That's so that is the mindset then. they have. Right? That's their yes. protocol. In India, it's different. Mm. We know how Indian protocols are. Mm. So they react, which is normal because they feel immediately worried that something is wrong. That means that factory will be shut down. Mm. The immediate reaction is that unit or that factory will be blacklisted and everything will be shut down. Mm. That means immediately products from there will be banned. Mm. They go to that extreme. Okay. They don't want to take the risk. Yeah. Because then whatever money they had on the table, mm. if something happens, they lose everything. Mm. So they rather pull their money out and take the loss, even if there's a loss. Okay. At least I get something back. Mm. And if they put a capital, let's say like a NATCO, which is put 500 rupees and it will become 1,200 rupees, 1,300 rupees, he's recovered his capital. Mm. What's only his profit? Mm. So he wants to take out this profit as much as he can. Mm. So he's out of that fear, they pull out. Yeah. And this happens with all pharma companies mm. and it's normal. So I hope that this video is informative and you had some knowledge about uh, how to analyze the profit and loss statement. And uh, if you found this video informative, please share it with your friends whom you think it will be helpful for them. And please subscribe to this channel for more kind of videos. See you in another episode with an interesting topic. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.